Hi, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Moskis, and today is Fabric Chat. Good morning. Hello. Happy May Day. Right? Finally. Finally. I'm ready. I'm ready for spring and I feel like May marks the pivot point. It does. I mean, I know it first does. day of spring happened weeks ago, but it's not the same. It's not the same first as it really day being spring. May. And May day are two very different days. And totally different. Well, flowers are blooming. Temperature wise. Yeah. It's been so fun doing the temperature quilt and seeing everybody else's temperatures, which is so wild right. to me. Yeah. You know, people that are 90 degrees in January and... Yeah, you know, crazy. zero degrees in March, and we really have this nice progression. Super hot for like two weeks. Yeah, and then hot. nice progression. Mm -hmm. So we are right now in the time where we can just leave our doors and windows open. Yeah, and, yeah. It's that you know, you know, four to six weeks. We don't even have to have the heater on. No air conditioning. It's just yes, perfect. Inexpensive and fresh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. So let's see. So. um Sunday? No, when did we do that? Saturday, Friday? I don't remember. We we cut all of the fabric, oh, the yes. 630 yards of uh, the batik, and we had kind of a little contest. And I, and I think they saw it Saturday. On. Did they see it Saturday? Saturday night, maybe? Because I think we were going to do it. I think we did it on Thursday, Thursday. and then Brianna had major... Issues. issues. There was a whole lot of, um, so I, I don't know how many times, how many times did you re-render it? Like three or four know. times? And then finally I called my internet guy and asked, something is happening. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to either break something. He's like, oh no, no, I got it. I got it. <laughs> On <Mixed> purpose. It. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it was fine. So and it finally then, went up and it was kind of funny because, um, you know, we just don't know, you know, what happens is during it, you know, we try to I mean, we kind of assume that we know sort of what you're seeing, but we don't really know, which is why, I don't know if you watched the whole thing, but um, there was a part where it's just so cute. Maisie and Lizzie are just adorable. Yeah, they're good you know, They just love each other, and um, they're just so good together, and they kind of cuddle most of the day. That's kind of how it goes. Mm -hmm. And um, the only other thing that you missed is any opportunity for Lizzie to take Maisie's food. <laughs> that, yeah, we weren't snacking. Yeah, so yeah. that happens all the time. Uh, but And that's the only thing. But anyway, so there was that one cute little cuddle thing where we stopped yeah. to make sure that we could zoom in. And then did you see it uh, went out of focus? It was fuzzy, yeah. And I mean, was, I was behind the camera. I couldn't get it to refocus. And it was yeah. probably because I um, was on the wrong side of the camera, so I couldn't see my button fast enough to, yeah. to yeah. miss it. Uh, so sorry, sorry that you that. missed that. But... It was kind of fun because everybody, I don't know if you read the comments or not, but everybody says the same thing. It was the Maisie and Lizzie show. It yeah, was it was the best Lizzie part. Show. The other like it three was, minutes, it was just me and mom cutting. That was boring. It was super boring. Fast super was boring. Crazy. I was so over that. And so, one of my rendering moments is I took out a whole chunk of it. Oh, yeah. Like there's, we don't care about that. Like, I probably, no. probably should have stopped like three seconds after Maisie said goodbye. Yeah. Really. <laughs> we should have. Yeah, because the rest of that is not interesting at all. I just wanted to make sure you knew I was doing all the work. That's right. I'm always documenting right there. And so many people <laughs> said that. Well, I noticed. I noticed there was a part where you're sitting there just drinking coffee. I know. Coffee. Drinking. I know because <laughs> I was caught up. Oh. And I was waiting for <laughs> you. I know. You left that part in. I took it all the times that I was just standing there. No. <laughs> That's right. I wasn't. I wasn't. Yes, she was. <laughs> no. Well, it's kind of a funny thing because several of you. Joan <laughs> made comments about, oh, Brianna does all the work and drinking coffee and whatever I was doing. But um, it, it, we sometimes we need to do it with you guys in normal speed with the sound on so you know how it happens. So yeah, it, it was all she's fair. doing all it of the cutting. Good. It is all good. So she is doing all of the cutting. And she is the fastest cutter. Mm -hmm. I'm going to admit that what will happen is when I'm cutting fabric, I'll go, oh, I didn't know there was purple she flowers on here, too. Yeah. Oh, look, there's a little bee on that one. <laughs> you know, and also, I am not a great cutter. Um, I mean, I am, but I'm not fast. Mm -hmm. I can be fast if I, if I have to be, but my arm does get tired a whole lot faster. Sure. They all think that you must be Popeye on one side, so they were pretty impressed with your I used to speed. buck bales of hay, so I just... She you know, did. Now I just buck babies, but... Yes, she did. <laughs> and so, and so, she is a fast cutter. 
Um, but what I'm doing is I have all of those orders laid yeah. out and I know that I need one here, one and a half, two. I don't need any of that yet. Now I need this. And so I call out to her. You just couldn't hear me. Right. She was I was that person in the boat going stroke, yeah. stroke. <laughs> You know, whatever. Faster in the back. Yes, <laughs> yes. I was driving what was happening. You just yeah, couldn't see that I'm true. telling her what to do. But somebody else had pointed out that you were cutting and folding. And well, okay. and that I could. But she I would just be it. in her way. Yeah. And sometimes I do do that when I'm like, let's go. I'll grab it and mm -hmm. fold it. But then I have to fold it in air, and yeah. you guys get it all nice and and tidy. And I, we want to give it to uh, uh, Tracy ready to go. So. Yeah. So yeah, it was, it was all good. Because even like on a normal good. day, so like on Monday when we were cutting our Sunday orders, yeah. some of those are bigger collections. That's um, how we do it. That's what we do. I, we pick one and mom will say, oh, I can't eat two half yard or, you know, half yard or one yard or two and a half or whatever. And usually I am waiting because she's sorting through orders to make sure. And then we fold that one for them. We might come back to that one later. Who knows? Yeah. But yeah. So what Because bad. we'll cut that one was just that like consistent. 10 at a time. And so I'm watching, okay, now I'm done with that piece. Now let me give you this piece. And I'm, and then Tracy does a double check to make sure that everything yeah. got in there. So, so anyway, but it was the whole fair, point was I, that it was all fair. It's all good. I was working really, really hard. <laughs> so if anything is not right, it's her fault. If the yard well, is not right, it's my fault. That's true. If something's <laughs> not right, it's typically my fault. But um, Tracy also double checks. Yes, and she does. I would say... We have a pretty One good success rate. We have a pretty good success rate. Yeah. yeah. We're, I think in terms of percentages, we're pretty high up there. I mean, you know, you know if you yeah. get it right or not. But. Because a lot of you guys should have your packages by now. Yeah. Because you guys should have your boutiques. And I can't say it enough. It's so much prettier. Always. Oh, so pretty. Because the other funny thing about that is like, that. Go ahead. I never watch us, right. but when I do, that is the first thing I notice is like, oh, Ooh, that is right not right. half yeah. as pretty as it really is. There's just no way, even on Facebook or any of the other pictures, there's just no uh -huh. way to really get that clarity. I mean, it's, you know, single dimension versus, you know, really seeing yeah. all of that color. I believe that too. Yeah. It's yeah. really, really different. Cause I think my favorite, that, the creamy, um, I think it's the, um, Papyrus. Yeah, papyrus. papyrus. One is so stunning mm -hmm. for a background. I love, 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 love that one. Mm -hmm. um, and then even, I think the black was super, super striking. All of it. I mean, they were all so pretty. I enjoyed cutting yeah. all of it. It was really, really I never pretty. got bored cutting those five no. pieces. So. Yeah, it was really, really pretty. And we're waiting for the next stuff to come in, and then we'll we'll do it again. Wow. And I wanted to say, okay, next time maybe I'll cut, but I don't know. Hey, you don't want to do it. It'll take us yeah. forever, guys. It'll take us forever. We have a system. Yeah. We have a system and we all know our roles and um, it's all good. But um, uh, there was one other thing I was going to say. Oh, I know the other thing I was going to mention is that it's kind of funny when you're watching it and when you're watching it when it's so speeded up, it almost looked like we were totally ignoring Maisie. We were, I know, it did. It I like that, yeah. didn't it? We, we were 100% knew exactly what she was doing all the yeah. time. And oftentimes we were saying, oh my gosh, she's tearing that hedgehog up again. Because I knew she was sitting there tearing that hedgehog hug apart. Twice I picked up yeah, stuff mm -hmm. and put it in my pocket. My pocket was full of garbage. Mm -hmm. um, and we take the plastic away from her. And then when she picked up all of the stuff and shoved it back in the hedgehog yeah. and went over what you didn't you see, see off, she was camera. off camera, she was over sitting by the back door, pulling it out again. Right. And kind of, you know, and talking, they, yeah, chattering. And, they saw, uh, and then she was me. bringing the pieces. But we did know where she was the whole yeah, time. We and we were talking to her. So, um, the one thing I missed is I noticed that the last time I rendered it, I wasn't going to go back and fix it, was when we were talking about what she was cooking because she had her cup and her spatula. Oh, yeah. We had this whole conversation. I mean, yes, it was you know a blimp in your view, but we, I should have yeah. watched for that and put the sound on because it's cute to hear her chit-chatter. We were adorable. talking about what she was making us. She, she, we do need to have more some fun stuff with her because she... Um, is such a conversationalist. She doesn't say the right words, no. but you totally know what she's saying. A hundred percent, she says it just right with just the right inflection and just the right tone. And it's just so fun to yeah. listen to her and you absolutely know what she's saying. Yeah. So, yeah. And the other thing she's that was adult. funny was that she had disappeared and then I left. It's like, where the heck did she go? Because no, she's always right there with her and we have doors shut and there's nothing really that she can yeah. get into and there's nothing, all the other doors are locked and... 
so it's not like she can get anywhere, but she had been gone for at least a minute. And so I went down to see, and she had come in and um, went Did in her room. Watch her and I went back on. and said, um, well, she's not in there. And Brianna said, well, did she shut the door? And she did. Yeah, sure. She goes in and shuts the door. <laughs> she really likes her room. She likes to play. And I think we've mentioned this before. She doesn't like it when somebody else is no, in there. She doesn't. The days that, that Harper is here, she is not Doesn't want to be in there. I mean, neither does Harper, but... <laughs> she doesn't want to her stuff. It's her stuff. It's so funny. That's where she is now. She really likes it in there. Yeah. Yeah, she has a good time. So anyway, so um, so we're glad that you guys enjoyed the yeah. Maisie show. That was and really cute. That was the last little thing I should mention is that again, I don't particularly care to watch us because you know my hair. My hair always looks terrible, and it's like <laughs> nobody oh, cares. Gosh, nobody saw that. Nobody oh, saw any of that. When now I realize baby. it's like nobody even knew we were in there. No, and even and Dad and I, we were giggling and giggling and laughing. We even rewound it and watched again just the mazy part. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. And um, Lizzie's eye, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's in a super expressive dog, but it's funny yeah. to see it in high motion when it's just yeah. She just looks like you know the crocodile. Up she does. It was here. funny. We were just giggling out loud watching <laughs> her. It was so much fun. Um, but. Anyway, Super cool. yeah, it was it was fun. Glad was you fun. guys enjoyed that. But um, and we did have the five winners, and I think we have figured out three of you guys who you were. Some. But I think two of you guys were still waiting to hear. So if you haven't gotten a gift, um, I should tell you who you are. But go back and watch at the end. But yeah, um, you can fast forward. It's like the last. Um, Six minutes. minutes of it. We chit chat about the winners, yeah. the time, some fun comments, and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, email info at fabricpatch.net and um, give us yeah. your shipping information. Let us we'll know who we are present. by your handle. And uh, again, we'll be doing it again. So super uh, fun when the other stuff comes in. So that was really fun. We'll see what new antics Maisie has. <laughs> her and oh, her we've learned. Puppy. Yes. Yeah. And speaking of hair, uh, I didn't tell you this part. I was whining already this morning about how bad my day has been. <laughs> and we're short into it. Um, my flat iron died. Oh, I knew it was going to die. When we went to our little FOF conference, I tried to use it. This is not good. Yeah, it's totally She ain't hot enough. No, yeah. it's totally dead. So, so did you use your uh, curling I iron? did. That's I used good. the curling iron, but that doesn't, it doesn't, my hair is, it doesn't hold a curl. Right. Well, your hair's so heavy. Yeah, my hair's so heavy, so. It looks good now. Don't look. Don't look. If well, quickly film box opening so it looks good. And it doesn't yeah, matter. Because it's going to be. Um, so Lori, um, you know, she straightens her hair. I should yeah. show you that picture. She probably won't care. It's not her face, isn't it? If you know Lori, you know Lori from uh, Columbia River Cruise and from Bali. But she um, uh, uses like a chemical straightener. I don't know how that works. She has to do it every six months. Yeah, it's like, um, it's just like a perm. Oh, yeah, that's it's what she just, said. It's the same thing. Oh. It's called something. It's pretty cool. I've seen it done. I kind of am half thinking that maybe I should try that. I bet Patty can do it. I mean, she has perms, but it's a, it's a reverse perm. Yeah, it's slick. Because every single... I mean, I either have to be... I was curly yesterday, and you know what that looks like. Mm -hmm. um, or uh, every single day, I have to straighten yeah. my hair. And if we go out somewhere in the evening, I kind of touch it up just a little bit. And I think that perms and mm -hmm. those kind of chemicals can be hard on your hair, but not harder than... Not harder than it, it every day. Right, it's probably the same. And if not, I deal with this. Right. Because I thought about doing a perm, because my hair is... A perm, a perm, perm, perm? A perm, perm. Well, I mean, not like a perm, not like crinkle perm, <laughs> somewhere in the middle. Not a 70s <laughs> No. <perm. laughs> um, only because my hair is no longer, like, mooseable. I can't just get it wet, put oh. mousse in it, and go on my day. It's so between straight and wavy, is probably what it is, that it's just a hot mess. I have to do something with other goods put up. Because, because your hair got thin it got during pregnancy uh -huh. and it never got thick again? No. I can't get it. Uh -huh. And I try to take good care. I mean, I know I put it up a lot, which isn't always helpful, but I use really good. I Patty good shampoo. gets me professional shampoo that I buy from her and I take care of it and, mm -hmm. you know, don't brush it when it's wet. Don't go to bed with wet hair. I mean, the whole shebang of it all, but mm -hmm. I don't know. It's, it's now mom hair. Something. <laughs> My hair is a horse's tail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Diane Long Henry, my hair person, 
Well, Tracy is our hair person too. We should has Tracy suggested anything for your hair? If not, mm -hmm. Diane. Not well, really. Have sent something or yeah, and I use that a, a little bit. Um, it just reacts funny to my pink hair. So I don't use it as much, but when I don't have pink hair or when I'm waiting for, I let my pink fade out. Because right now I use that, um, a color mask that's temporary that refreshes my pink without having to go back to the salon. Um, but as I wait for um, my patty appointment, I'll kind of let it all fade out so it's easier for her to add bleach to whatever she's doing. And I use it then. Oh. Because it doesn't turn my hair green or anything weird like that. It just right, right. drains the color out. I need to get mine colored again. I add, of course, obviously the blonde highlights, and mm -hmm. then I have more fun. <laughs> I hate being blonde. <laughs> I hate the after pink stage. <laughs> it's either pink or not. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Well, anyway. Um, okay, let's see. What else? Uh, we were going to, uh, and I was going to mention, there was something else today that was kind of fun. So today is, of course, May Day. Mm -hmm. Um, and then today there was two other things that I thought I would mention that I thought was kind of cool. Oh, today's school principal's day. Oh, I didn't know that. I love Wade's principal. She oh, used principal. to be a teacher back in my day. Now she's the, um, the principal. principal. Um, Kayla. Mm. Kayla. It's good that you're on the first name basis. Yeah, I know. Or about no, it's a good thing. <laughs> she's super good with Wyatt. I mean, they all are. Well, he's just a boy that's busy, and they've figured it out. He's got a great first grade teacher, um, and they really just work together. And I think they appreciate he goes to school every single day. He we're does. On, we're on track for being a perfect attendance perfect. his second year. His first year of school? Perfect attendance. Went home with a bicycle. Bicycle. And a helmet. That is a whole, so I crazy. I think it's so cool. I mean, there's only four of them. So, I mean, it wasn't that big of an expense. But I just think it's like super But what rewarding. an incentive for everybody, everybody else. else to have perfect attendance. And I hope it's yeah. a perfect means perfect. Not, oh, but I really was sick. No. No. I feel like I need my I can't wait home. to see. Again, I feel well, a little, you know. <laughs> Your heart is, is a more than. Than. I know. Right, there needs to be a Starbucks <laughs> gift card in there. Another tub of Lysol wipes. No, I don't know. <laughs> but so yeah, what's his gift going to be this year? This I don't know. So bike. first quarter was a um, donut breakfast. Oh, he's so been he got like gifts all along. Wait, every quarter he does. So his first quarter he got to have like a um, donut breakfast. He got to have breakfast, and then he got he like just a second plan that. that they got. He got like a donut or something. It was something special, and um, maybe they had a police officer. Something kind of special, you know. It's just for that oh. little group. Um, and then second quarter, um, what was it? I think it was some um, like a slice of cake with lunch or something. Um, or again, or it might have been after lunch because I don't know how it always works. If other kids, well, how'd you get that? So it might have been an after, an extended lunch, and you get a piece of cake. I think that's great to do. It. How'd you get that? Oh, I, I came, came to, to school, school every day. Yeah, that and then he just great got incentive. for a third quarter. He got a extra recess um, right before school got out. So he's got that's pretty cool. And he said there's quite a few of them at extra recesses. But again, it's reward per quarter. So, I mean, he, of course, has collected all of them. But if someone in third quarter didn't get first or second, they still got their extra recess. Oh, and that's kind of nice. It's kind of nice that you have the opportunity for yeah. greatness. So, it was pretty fun. Well, I'm excited to see what he's going to get this year. I know. Pretty exciting. I know. You know, and I think I said this last year, um, uh, Dad, Pa, yeah. was... Uh, all 12 years. <laughs> all 12 years. At graduation, <laughs> there were two kids in the graduating class of 1980 that went every single day, did not miss a single day of school, and Paul was one of them. That's pretty cool. Yeah. That's so see, cool. it's DNA. Yep. He is meant to go to school every okay. single day. So National Principals Day. So just kind that's of good. a... That's why you have those little mug rugs sitting around. A mug rug, yeah. a little coffee cup, maybe a cookie or some tea they in there. Something. They work hard. A plastic bag. Just to make sure that, you know, all the teachers, the aides, that everybody else is taken care of and are yeah. doing good things for your kids. And she also makes sure that she has her own special um, fund where she'll buy extra books for the library. Mm -hmm. So, again, the library raises funds and the book club gets, or the book sales too, but she will also do special Aww. sales to make sure that a teacher, a particular teacher, gets books or whatever. So, she does a really good job making sure her teachers are taken awesome. care of. That's really yeah. awesome. That's good. It's also National Chocolate Parfait Day. That's, that's something you Absolutely. need to know. Absolutely. Totally need to know that. Uh, and it's also, this is the other one that I thought was kind of fun. It's National Mother Goose Day. Mother Goose Day? Oh, I wish she had an old day, a whole day, whole day to a herself. 
She deserves it. She does. She, she, she does. does. Some of those rings. <laughs> and then also, uh, for us, May 1st, so we have a book club, a lot going on this week. We have a book club newsletter going out today mm -hmm. with the results of what the book will be for June. Yep. We are still taking um, recommendations for book club for July. All of our books that are selected... All of our books that are nominated are selected by nominated by you guys, mm -hmm. um, and then we vote on them. And you know, um, I consistently last month I read uh, all four. This month I'm reading all four. I'm going to read all of them anyway. But uh, one will be the winner, and we. Uh, announce that today. Mm -hmm. And in the newsletter that you will get today, um, there will be no spoilers in it. So feel yeah. free to open it. You'll have to click into a link to see any questions or anything. So feel free to open it, catch up, see what you need to know, and then um, you can click into if you're prepared to see questions or if you need, you know, two more hours to finish your book, you can do that later. But yeah, because then our book review is, is it the 8th? 8th? Maybe the 8th. It's next Thursday. It'll say on there mm -hmm. for Frozen River. Yeah. Oh, man. I bet top three lifetime. In Look at, I still haven't finished it. I'm still trying to finish the one I'm on. Oh. So I don't know. I'll have to stay up late and finish my... I think once you really get into it, you won't stop. It. Oh, so, 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 good. so good. So, so good. And everybody that's emailed or texted or whatever has said, oh, my gosh, what an outstanding book. So Good. I wish I could remember who suggested it, but whoever did. Ooh, Good fantastic, fantastic book. Um, and, um, then and then also tomorrow oh, is, is it? Uh, yeah, tomorrow is Temperature Quilt. Temperature Quilt, yep. And that is a live YouTube. A Zoom. We do a Zoom. Oh, we do a Zoom. Mm -hmm. I don't know. So that we can see other people from your guys' Oh, story. right, right, right. So we can do a little more show and tell and you guys see a little bit more. Right. And then we, um, we so also email us pictures and email pictures or if you Facebook pictures, she goes onto Facebook and, and we look looks there. there. So either way, um, send us those pictures and then we'll include, everybody likes to see what everybody it's, it's is really working fun. on. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, uh, yeah, so that's to tomorrow. Tomorrow at 11. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. It's a good time. And then tonight... Yeah. Uh, starts our Mother's Day Mother's special. Day. So what's going to happen is, um, so what we decided to do is something just a tiny, tiny bit different. So this is a box we'll show you tonight at 5 o'clock, mm -hmm. just before box opening. We'll show you everything in this box. It's a heavy box. Mm -hmm. And so what will happen is we put a limited number of boxes together that has at least one of everything that we are doing that we're featuring over the next five days plus yes. a little bonus thing. And so what you can do is you can just get one box, not have to worry about what if I don't make it by five, what if they're sold out, what if whatever. Yep. Um, this is just one box and we can ship it to whoever just in your notes. In fact, you can say purchase by and then you can have ship. You can change that mm -hmm. or in your notes, just type it out or you know, whatever, or say, right. I'm going to call you and give you the exact oh, yeah. address because I don't have it, but this is what I want. I want you to send it to my mom. Um, and then we can ship it so that your Mother's Day gift is to you or to your other special person um, in time for Mother's Day. Otherwise, everything will go out. I think we did the math. I think it's still going to go out seven days before Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. So everybody's, you know, you're still going to be okay. But Tracy has said that she's noticed that even the priority mail is way slower now. It is. So they have changed instead of like three to five days. I think they have publicly changed. It's five to seven days. That's crazy. Hoping That's not priority. It's not. But I think what it is is I think or two just, to three to four to seven. It's something they changed the gap to yeah. a week is priority. It's like, uh, because when you guys used to get it like the next day or two days, it's we're not doing anything any different. But it's funny yeah. and and also they raise the prices. But I think <laughs> there's so much mail order now. So everybody much. mail orders everything. I mean we're no exception. We live in a small town. We can't get everything here, mm -hmm. and so a lot of stuff you do have to. Yeah, order, like but. just this morning, I um, we're redoing a little camper trailer. Um, we redid the floor and we just have like under the dinette and a step and something. I want to put some carpet on. Um, and I went to everything in town and nobody has anything in stock. They can order it, but I only need four pieces. So 
I don't really want them to order a whole case for them right. to have the extra added expense, and I don't need the extra You should expense. go through Pa's stuff. He's got to have something. Yeah, Mimi. I don't, know, I don't know. So we'll see. Maybe we'll hit Moses. We need to up. do a little video. It's the cute little trailer. <laughs> it's I voluntarily painted a wall green, nine, you guys. 1970s, um, in the pick, in bed of the pickup, you know, with the bed over the top yeah, of the cab. and the, It's adorable. And it smells like 1970s. Gosh, it was which is, I like it. Uh, I like that smell. Well, and I love, there's like an orange um, stained glass in it. I love it. It is <laughs> my favorite feature. <laughs> Um, Look at this! It's like oh, that's it's, and it has an, it has an ice box in it, not a refrigerator. It's a legit ice box, and they even had the instructions for it. Oh, they took such good care of it. So it's cute. It's they did. It's, it's, it's they loved very it. So I am um, today. I figured out they I measured all my windows to get curtains. So I can do curtains. You I need still... to do a little thing and show them. Well, they can't see really a before because you've already painted it, right? Do you have um, some before pictures? Robert might have it before. Maybe I do have a very current things. that has it painted and it kind of a little wrap around, but because you should show before. them, um, it would be kind of fun then to show how to do curtains. Yeah, I'm also how to do, do cushions. cushions. Yeah, that's some kind of crazy, crazy sewing that not everybody knows how to do. It might yeah. be fun for you to do a little, a little tutorial, a little tutorial about that. Yeah, I could. Yeah. But it's pretty fun. We would like to see so, that. Yeah. I would like to see that. It's cute. I want to go camping. <laughs> the only thing is there is no toilet in it. We have There's no toilet in it. It has an ice box. <laughs> this pre Usually there's a toilet right in there underneath the shower. I don't have a shower. No shower. <laughs> I have a closet. That Robert's little bucket with a little toilet seat on it would totally fit for the kids. But no, it's, it's dry. Seat? Yeah. With a little weird, we've never seen the water tank in it. It's almost like a pressurized one. So you have to play with that. Um, and I even have a propane range in there. Hmm. I know. I don't know. Well, mostly you probably just barbecue out the back door, right? Right. So, Where are you going to go to the bathroom? I don't know. I don't know. That's a problem. Right? Um, I asked him how hard it would be to turn that closet into a bathroom, but he said he just laughed. <laughs> Like that is not an answer. <laughs> the, the floral curtains can only take me so far. <laughs> I know outdoor bathroom. Well, if you are gonna park like at a state park, there's there is, always bathroom. There's a bathroom. Yeah. Yeah. So fun. We haven't went anywhere yet. <laughs> Might have to get some little tent. That's just your little bathroom. <laughs> Hanging shower. <laughs> <laughs> the sweet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would be good. That would work. Yeah. You could put a little, like a, I don't know, you could rig up some kind of a bathroom in there. Yeah. That would totally work. <laughs> so I, yeah. want, I want to be there when you tell Robert about it. <laughs> he doesn't understand. He doesn't. He doesn't understand princess DNA. No, he doesn't. It's a thing. And both of his girls have princess DNA. Yeah, Harper, so, uh, Harper has it. And Maisie's is shining oh, through. even. <laughs> yeah. Absolute princess DNA. It is yeah. clear. So we'll see. It's fun. We figure our first outing will be like into your house or to his parents' house just to like get there, set up on someone else's ground, see what's happening. Put, out the, put out the lawn chairs. Yeah, see if everything works. You know, I always <laughs> worry like being so far away. Okay, what if the propane doesn't work? What if um, there's a propane link that we didn't catch when we were at home kind of a thing? All of those weird things that I'd rather be super close to home or have help super close. And then maybe the next one is at the lakes, you know, mm -hmm. 30 minutes from mm -hmm. civilization. And then we thought maybe our big one would be like to the cabin. <laughs> Ooh, well, I'll have to go. <laughs> we'll go hat out of the meadow and yeah. have that and then yeah. we'd actually have that would be like the full-fledged how we would camp if it yeah. was in the state park so we have it like a three segment because I said yeah. I don't know because we don't know I mean we've camped before in a regular camper but this is again old um it was yes taken good care of but we also it's a whole new new setup Mm -hmm. You know, do you keep it on the truck? Do you take it off the truck? And we do have um, John and Valley. You leave it on the truck. Right. Some people say they take it off. So we don't know. I would keep it on. Like, why? Why do they take it off? Maybe it's a leveling thing. I don't know. We've heard every other story. But John and Valley oh. have one. Mm -hmm. And he usually leaves it in his truck. So we're going to, yeah. Robert's going to go up and have all these questions and show me this. And his is, a, his is still a little dated. So it's a little more apples to apples. And so we're going to go up there and have some questions and 
see what answers we get. So that'd be pretty cool. Super fun. Super fun. I think we've talked about this before, but Pa and I, you know, when early days we had a pup tent and would sleep in that. And of course the condensation was horrifying. And then we moved up to a tent that, uh, actually had like a living room area, um, super big time. And then we moved up to, um, and we took that with us. We took a trip, um, our honeymoon, we went to, uh, um, seaside in Mm, Oregon mm -hmm. and then, and stayed there in like a real hotel. And then we went up the Washington coast, but most of the time, uh, we had just that canopy on the back of his, he had a little Toyota pickup. And we just stayed in that. We put a mattress uh, in there, and we had an ice chest and a suitcase. And that was it. And we went camping, and it was yeah. uh, pretty fun. And then we bought the... We had that tiny little pull-behind trailer. See, I don't remember that one. Oh, I think that was before your time. It was the only other thing I remember is the Dutchman. That's the, the only Dutch other thing I remember. And then we had this fifth wheel, and we were totally big time then. Totally big time then. That was, and we have a picture of you looking at yourself in the mirror. There was even a mirror and a oh, closet cute. and had a bathroom in it. And it was really nice. And we had that for a long time until I think we finally sold it because we bought the cabin. We have a cabin up in. Well, recently, well, not recently, but 10 years ago. Fairly recently. Because we just kept hanging on to it thinking, well, if we were ever going to go camping someplace besides the cabin, we would need that. Mm-hmm. And then. You know, it was just not being used, yeah. and um, we used to take it up before we got, you know, the cabins kind of done, because then we would have a shower, we would have yeah. a bathroom, we would have all of that kind of stuff. So we used it a lot, but then um, it got to be where we didn't use it at all, and we sold it to somebody. A who, PUD guy. A PUD it. guy, yeah, who mm-hmm. was going on the road for six months and needed a place to live in it or whatever, so we sold it. But yeah. but it was fun, the whole camping thing, you know, and it's mm-hmm. fun, that whole progression of, you know, you're all always so excited yeah and um and yeah the little campers were and so think, much fun i think so too I think. and i'm a, a big proponent of that camper is just somewhere to sleep we're gonna if we're going camping in the wilderness outside. we are going outside we're getting dirty we're playing in the dirt we're searching for rocks you know the whole shebang yeah so it's not tomorrow where you need to party or whatever and um robert and i've talked about it or i guess more robert has talked about getting a camper a lot, but my whole thing is I am not sure I'm willing to make payments on something that we're going to use maybe three times a year, four times a year, because we don't have the time to just go out for the weekend and do something. So this one was actually given to him from his boss um, that's just been on his property for forever and he was ready for it to get off and Robert's like, well, you know, I'm willing to take a look at it. It was a really good deal. It was a really good deal. So we figured we can, you know, put 500, 600 bucks into it, make it cute and whatever, and just see what happens. Yeah. I feel like that little bit of investment, as long, if it takes us through like, oh my gosh, we have so much fun, the kids love this and grow into something different. It's, you know, that test without that huge investment. So, well, and then because of your guys' annual trip over to the coast, instead right. of staying in an Airbnb for, you know, $1,200, we could just take could just have a little camping spot and yeah. camp right on the beach. <gasps> so much fun. So, yeah, so it's pretty fun. Robert's super excited. He is having fun actually redecorating it with me. He said no to the flowers. He did, but I told him we've been picking out fabric, and so I did good. So my inside, the main curtains are this cute map that are is a little bit green and cream. The bed, the master bedroom is going to be a purple flower, but the flowers match the best, the best everywhere. But and it's I not told him pink. It's not blue. And when he says no, you just say, okay, well, this was my second choice, pink. <laughs> and this is my third choice, pink and purple. And he told me, the only stipulation is just, that it's not a girl camper, Brianna. Let's not make it super pink. <laughs> I didn't. Says the father of two daughters <laughs> who are girly. Princess so Crown. So tutus. girly. Yeah. Wyatt likes click click so shoes. So girly. It's fine. He does like click click shoes. So yeah, it's been fun. It's our little week evening jobs. Fun, fun, fun. I'll show some pictures of the variant. I'll see okay, if I yeah. can find something. Show some it. pictures. Then. She's cute. And She's we want to see we want to see the whole curtain and the cushions thing and how you how yeah, you do that. Okay. So, um, and then let's see the other thing we've been promising you guys are a Nova story. Oh, so yes. we should I think now that we've already talked for forty five minutes. Right. Sorry. I don't think so. We'll talk fast. We've <laughs> been thirty five minutes. 
We'll talk fast. So here's the deal with the ANOVA. So, and the reason that we're bringing it up, if you've not been hanging out with us for a while, and if you've not ever hung out with us before, I apologize. I should have told you a long time ago. We're a mother-daughter duo. We have a shop in mm -hmm. Washington State, but... This is eh. just the chat show. <laughs> this is nothing. <laughs> were you going to see how to scrub a block? No. Oh, sorry. <laughs> were you going to talk about half screw triangles? No. <laughs> <laughs> Baby box up. We're just that. having coffee. <laughs> That's all. Um, but anyways, uh, so uh, there are... Uh, and I have been a quilter for as long as I can remember. I mean, I was an only girl with six brothers. I didn't get a little sister until I was 17 years old. My grandmother lived with us, and she and I shared a bedroom. And it was a very funny family in that the, there was women's work and there was men's work. Mm -hmm. And, of course, all of it was women's work. My mom worked outside the home. Uh, she was a bus driver. And so it was grandma and I that kind of did everything. And grandma did a lot of sewing. And what it was was it was, you know, she would make... Um, you know, Ronnie's shirt, which would become um, uh, Robbie's shirt, which would become somebody else's boxers, which would finally, after a little while, um, when uh, that fabric couldn't be anything else, it would become a quilt. Um, but her quilts were beautiful. Um, she did a really nice, nice job. She would cut things up and I would help her. The main way that I would help her is I would thread her needles for her. I would thread her needles and I would park them um, on the corner. But um, where am I going with this? Oh, I'm way off track of ANOVA. We'll get there. But, yeah, we'll get there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, anyway, so, um, so I have always, always quilted. We bought and started the quilt shop in 1999 because I wanted a long arm. Mm -hmm. That was the whole reason. I wanted a long arm machine of my very own, and I wanted to be able to loan it out to my friends who were also quilters. Mm -hmm. And so, because back then, you could not find anywhere anybody who would let you borrow their machine or rent their machine. It absolutely was not done. Mm -hmm. I believe we were the first... Let me know if you find any shop who has ever rented their long arm out prior to 1999. I think we were the first ones that did it. So we started Different with a gamel. in our region. Yeah. Absolutely. We bought a gamel, was what we started with, and we started with that. And um, we had the gamel before we had any fabric. Mm -hmm. And then we had um, backing fabric, and then we had batting, because that was mostly what we were doing. And then we slowly started adding fabric. And... And I still had a full-time job as a nurse practitioner. We had a couple of employees that would come down, and everybody was having lots of fun uh, down here. And then I finally retired because of breast cancer in 2006 and worked here full-time. Uh, Brianna was just a little baby girl, uh, born in 92, so she was just little. Uh, but she started working down here, well, started when we were six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, So and then she'd work on weekends after, and after school. Anyways, so we had the gamel. We got up to where we had two gamels. We liked our gamel machines. I mean, I wouldn't say that we didn't, but what happened is that we retimed them all of the time. Mm -hmm. All of the time. Because they were just being used so much. Not yeah. because people were hard on them. Yeah, and it's just that whole thing and that hopping foot. And so if it slams down on, if somebody is not careful, and maybe there's a whole bunch of seams or whatever, and it just slams down, it knocks it out just enough that you have to stop. And we were pretty quick. I could retime a gamel in under five minutes. Yeah. I could get it all done. Everything was fine. And off we would go again. Well, anyway... <clears throat> Brianna was little and she couldn't go. We would go to market every year in um, October mm -hmm. down in Houston, uh, quilt market. And pretty much all of us used to go. And Brianna was too little. The rule was that you had to be 14. And, um, and I think you went when you were 12. And I think that we even And most of it was, we, yeah, and also because of all of the reps that came. Yeah. I thought, oh, she'll be fine. You David know. Piha was the owner of Clothworks Cloth back then, and he said, absolutely, if they give you any grief, you know. Send them my way. Send them my way. And so everybody knew who she was. She wasn't yeah. 14 yet, but she looked 14, and she conducted herself properly, and, you know, it wasn't some child running around. She yeah. knew the business, and she knew what she was looking looking at and she was truly a participant in the business so it worked out fine so anyway so here we are going up and down market and we there's always a lot of paper and you're planning blocks of the month and you're planning different things and mm -hmm. looking at where you're going to come back the next day and you know do a little bit more shopping and order more fa um, uh, patterns or whatever so we're um, going up and down there's probably six of us mm -hmm. and um, all of a sudden Brianna is missing can't find her anywhere 
It's like, what happened? But Where? I was probably, was I 12 when we, when we Were you 12 or, or were you 10? It was 2007. Let's do the math. Okay, I might have been 12. I guess I didn't think I was that No, it wasn't 2007. It was 2000 and... Because I thought it was like 14. Like legal age. <laughs> Wait, legal age. <laughs> At that Maybe point. you were legal age. Maybe that wasn't your first... It, was it might not market. have been. It might not have been your first market because no. I know we were at this particular market. We had so many people asking. I had been well, going what to should market. I buy? What should I buy? What should I buy? Right, right, so right. So we were headed to market. Oh, uh, that was one right. of our missions. Was well, okay. If we were going to say, oh my gosh, you guys need to buy this, um, what would it be? That's we exactly did go with right. Other people. Oh, that's exactly right. Oh, and because Heidi went with us. Oh, yeah. That's exactly right. So you had been, I know that the very first market that you ever went to, you were 10. Yeah. So that would have been in 2002. Mm -hmm. And so you went when you were 10. And so it must have been, so you must have been 15. Teenage. Yeah. yeah. Because that's exactly right. We had so many people that would come in and rent the machine. It's like, oh, I want to buy a long arm. Well, I don't know what to buy. This is a gamble, you know? And so that's true. Yeah. Heidi... Um, who uh, lived here in Ephrata, came into the shop all the time, um, didn't work here at all, but pattern designer, we um, carried mm -hmm. all of her patterns, super talented quilter. She went with us also because she was she was absolutely in the market for buying a long arm. Yeah. And so that's exactly right. So we were testing mm -hmm. the APQS, the Nolting, the Tin Lizzy back everybody. then, which is, yeah, we were testing everybody. That's exactly right. That's That was our whole, one of our main purposes for going to market. Because mm -hmm. they're all lined up and that's the best thing to go is just try them all, see what they all feel like, see which one you like the best. Yeah. So that's right. So anyway, so we are going down the aisles. Brianna has disappeared. We cannot find her anywhere. Yes. We start to retrace our steps and we see this tiny little booth. This tiny little booth, there is not a quilt in the booth. No, it is all black with like uh, quilt hanging things on it, maybe. There wasn't even a quilt in there. No, not a quilt, but the little rods that hang. Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, nothing. Black and two or three men in black suits. In black Mom suits. Mom was super sketched out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was not Three someone. men in three-piece suits <laughs> and this machine, and it's a pink machine. And on this little two-foot thing. And my daughter. <laughs> Plain. Stitching on this machine, and it's like, what are you doing? What are We're these not people? <laughs> and Neil is just, you know, mile a minute. If you know Neil, if you've ever met him, Neil, um, the owner of the company, is just talking, talking, talking. Yeah, talking to Brianna. Brianna's talking, and it's like, what is this little baby thing? And why? Are you? And you know, I'm thinking, it's how nice. Pink. I'm just gonna smile and be nice, but what is happening? <laughs> and she says, Mom, this is like a really, really nice machine. And so he is explaining. You know, the hopping foot is a little bit different, so it doesn't hop up it. That what it does is it is um, on all of the others, on your, even your regular machine, when your hopping foot goes down, um, things happen in terms of your tension, and then your hopping foot comes up so that your tension is released, um, or mm -hmm. your tension is engaged, your tension is released. Just your like your domestic is engaged, machine. Your tension is released. That's mm -hmm. how it always works. And that's why when you lift up your presser foot, you have no tension. When your presser foot is down, you have nothing but tension. Yeah. And so that's why um, if there's anything wrong with that movement and it's out of timing or whatever, your stitches will be terrible. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened with what happens with I, um, Inova is that they have fixed that whole thing. And so it, you have like this constant tension on it so that you're not releasing anything. And so then what'll happen is um, your stitches look great regardless of what that space is. Yeah. So anyway, so he's kind of explaining, and I could maybe if, if Heidi, if you're watching, you could maybe correct that, <laughs> but I could have it wrong, but I just know how I have it in my head that it yeah. makes perfect sense. So it doesn't matter. I can go over whatever thickness I want. I can do the thickest thing down to the thinnest thing, down to the thickest thing. I can layer yeah. things. I can do applique stuff and it doesn't care at all. It doesn't make any difference. Every single stitch will be perfect. Mm -hmm. So we're watching this and we're playing around with it and it's kind of nice. And so then at some point I said, well, why is it pink? And he says, well, because every woman loves pink. And I thought, mm -hmm. I'm like, only, only this kid right here. <laughs> now, it's why she, she stopped. stopped. It's true. You would not have stopped no. if it wasn't You probably not wouldn't pink. have seen it, honestly. Right, right. And so, and then, um, and the name of it was Pinky. Mama's so not buying it. She's like, mm. 
And so anyway, so we kind of played on it and all of us played on it. And then by then Heidi had come back and Heidi kind of played on it and, you know, whatever. And so we were all fine. And then off we go again. It's like, thank you very much. And off we go. Um, we could not stop thinking about that machine. Mm -hmm. We could not stop thinking about the design of it. Um, and we started comparing it to everybody else. Yeah. And we kept going back. So the only problem was that by the end of that market, we knew that we wanted this machine, but we didn't like the frame. And he mm -hmm. said, yeah, yeah, this is a frame. They were working with um, a quilter from Australia and it was their design. And it's like, oh, the frame has to be way sturdier than that because, you know, because of what mm -hmm. we're going to put on it. So we didn't really like the frame. And he said, well, he would be willing to redesign the frame, but he was, you know, looking for... Um, distributors, what's it called? What's it called? Yeah, like um, reps. Dealers. 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 Mm -hmm. And so it's like, yeah, you know, I'd be willing to buy one. I will buy one. And um, because in everything that we saw, everything that we tested, was it was absolutely the best one. Not just, it didn't just feel the best, but even the whole design of it and all of the things that you fixed that were wrong with the other one. Because the other thing it had is it has this tilting head, which I have to say, I always forget about that because it's not such a I wonder if the new ones still do. I don't know. It was, they thought it was just like fantastic because they thought that you were going to tilt that head, take the thing off, put the whole thing away and then do whatever. And then, you know, in a month when you had a quilt, to quilt like you would take the thing out, you know, p do this telescopic frame and put this frame up. I mean, put the machine on, tilt the head down and that's how you like would quilt. And I said, well, you don't know any quilters. That's not how we do that. We have dedicated rooms, yeah. you know. <laughs> Our living room is now our quilting room. The master bedroom is bigger, so that's now the quilting room. And we're in, you know, what what used to be my son's room or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I said, no, 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 we're not like that. We're going to leave the whole thing set up. So that's why this telescoping frame that he came up with is like, oh, we don't want that. So anyway, so I said, okay, yeah, well, we're ready to go ahead and buy one. And that was the one. He didn't have any. That was it. He only had that one. <laughs> and he goes, well, it'll be a while. And it's like, oh, come on. Why are you I'm here? excited. <laughs> I'm going to go back and I'm going to tell everybody that my whole reason for coming to market was to come back and tell you guys what machine to buy. And I want to sell them this. They need to see it. I can't even describe it. He says, okay, well, I'll sell you this one. Okay, that's what I want. I want this one. It's I want this one. one but I want you to... her house yeah. to this day. So my, my <laughs> Innova says on it, it's pinky and my uh, serial number is 2007 001. Yeah. I have the very first one ever made. Yeah. Uh, they did fix the frame. And so they sent it along with this weird rinky dink one. Mm -hmm. And then they were working pretty hard on the frame. They flew Heidi and I yeah. back to Texas to try it, test it out. No, no, no. You got to change this. this. No, mm -hmm. no. We need this. We need this. See how we're, we're talking. And, you know, and then we flew back and then they said, okay, we think we have it. And then they sent them out. So when they sent them out, we had a, what was called a pinky party. So when we they were to still market, pinky at the moment. They were they so called been pinkies. Renamed. Mm -hmm. So when I got mine, it was in October. So it took three months. So on February 14th, we were going to have the unveiling. He was shipping everything. Everything was due to arrive on about the 10th. And then um, mm -hmm. Neil was going to fly into Spokane and drive over and be here so people could meet him and test out this machine on the new frame because the new frame yep. was going to be here. He was bringing it with him. He was to bringing it, it with him to set it up and put it all together. So that was all great. So he got here. We get the whole thing set up. It starts to snow by about noon. And he was already a little miffed because of course, if you've ever driven from us to Spokane or vice versa, you go through nothing. Yeah. You so go he's through thinking, fields of nothing. Like, he did, yeah. there's no people here. <laughs> yeah. So he's picturing, when he say, oh, we're in Washington and we know all of these places. He's, he's picturing like Seattle. Yeah. Metropolis. You know, oh yeah, I've been to Tacoma. Oh yeah, I've been to whatever. Yeah, so right. no, no, no. You're coming to Ephratus. So that's exactly right. He lands and he drives for <laughs> hours and doesn't see no. a soul. <laughs> He's thinking, why? Oh, These guys are going to be my dealers. I just got What is happening? Yeah. <laughs> so he gets here and it's like, just trust us. It's all okay. So he gets here. He starts putting the thing together. It starts to snow. We have the biggest snowstorm of, the of season. this season <laughs> on that day. The roads are closed. Four all road four. closures. The north road in, the south road in, east and west. You can't make it to us. 
Everyone came. Everyone. Everyone brought their husband and their big old Everyone trucks. came and their husbands. And we sold, we had 12 people who came and we sold 12 machines yeah. that night. That was pretty cool. And this is why. It's because, and anybody who knows us, any local people and people who ha have met us since then, um, we're not going to sell you something that you don't need. Right. I say it all the time. It's like, right. oh, this ruler, mm, let's try this. Make a few quilts first before you get the specialty ruler. How many flangies are you going to make? Or whatever. I mean, yep. I don't like the idea of let me sell you $300 worth of notions for one quilt that you're going to make. I've never ever, we've, we've never ever done that. We don't think that that's right. Um, and if we put our name behind something, you know, it really is true. And it's, it's true that Innova, I still say the same thing. There is no long arm machine out there that's as good as the Innova. Yeah. Uh, we had two gamels, um, and um, one of them we basically gave away because we just, it, it to me personally, and I don't want to, I guess that was fairly shameful to Gamela, I apologize. But to me, there's absolutely no difference between the two. So we then became, um, so we were Innova dealers for, I don't know how many years, forever. We were the number one, we were the first dealer. We were the number one dealer for a couple years in a row. Yeah. And then what happened was, so for th oh, probably four years we did it. And then what happened was a couple of things. One is we kind of saturated the market. Every single quilter that we know owned an Innova. Yeah. And so Jordan was our tech. So Jordan would, somebody would buy one, he would drive um, to wherever it was, and he went as far away as Montana, mm -hmm. he went up into Canada, he would go wherever, and he would set it all up. Um, uh, and normally what would happen is they would come down first and take a class, um, I'd make sure that they were all set on it, and then Jordan would basically follow them home and, and put that up. Mm -hmm. um, and then the other one is Brianna would also help with the classes. Jordan went away, um, he joined the Navy. So Jordan left, then it was a little bit harder because then it was Brianna and Jared. Now, Jared also mechanically gifted, however, left-handed. And Everything. this is sort of a weird <laughs> thing, but I'm telling you, it makes a difference. Yeah. It's all kinds of stuff. It's like, why is it like that? Oh, he's left-handed. Okay, Jared, you can't do it this way. And then he would try to think about it this way. No, it so no, it wasn't. <laughs> Uh, Jordan says every once in a while he still finds something that's like, oh, Jared my brother did this, right? <laughs> so um, anyway, so then we had Jared. Then what happened was Brianna went away to college. Was still super, super hard, but then I got breast cancer for a second time. I had mm -hmm. breast cancer in 2006. I got it again, and it's like, I'm out. Yeah. So it changed a lot of things. It changed what we did here in the store, and it changed that ability to travel around, yep. take the machines and go to shows and do things like that. So we were no longer um, Anova dealers, and Jack from... McMinnville mm -hmm. kind of became Oregon and Washington and he had this great big huge territory mm -hmm. so um, which was fine a lot of people still bought Innovas um, I don't know necessarily in this area I think there's still a lot of people that buy Gamels but mm -hmm. um, and in the last 10 years since we've been doing it they've changed a lot yeah Innova has continued to you know lead the market and that's really what happens it's the same with your domestic machine Everybody wants to be the best. Mm -hmm. You know, FAF comes out with a new top of the line every other year. Bernina follows right behind. You know, new top of the line, Viking, Husqvarna. Everybody is always striving to improve, make it a little bit better, keep up with technology. Right. What's the newest, coolest thing? Anova is no different. Anova, Gamel, um, APQS, what? APQS, Everybody. Nolting. I don't even know who's still out there anymore because we don't shop around. We used to go <laughs> play on the machines um, all the time, and um, because that was our industry. And now there is just nothing that is like our machine. Mm -hmm. um, and we should back up for just a second. The other thing that happened was Neil was um, consistently thinking about size. So, um, you know, the 24 inches, what everybody was doing. Well, for some reason, Neil decided he wanted a 21 inch throat space. So he did a 21 inch, he made it black and he called it Jack Black. No, called black it Jack. Black Jack. Mm -hmm. Black Jack. He Not didn't sell confusing. a single one on his opening market at all. And it's like, I like Not it. Not one, but Brianna loved it. Oh, that was great. So Brianna got that as a gift My for graduation. graduation. So mm -hmm. she has the only Blackjack 
ever made. Yeah. And so took him to college and everything. Yes. And now he is he is, tatted. He is Jack. That's yeah, who I was talking about. So I have a picture at the end that I'll put up for you guys. And this yeah. is, he got a ca- tattoo in college, the whole shebang. Yeah. Yeah. So she would oftentimes say, no, I got to spend the night with Jack. No, Jack and I got a date tonight. You know, whenever. So it's always been this ongoing joke that because what put her through college is yeah. long arm quilting. It was, you know, and she did it until finally third baby and a teary night of, I can't do it anymore. So she has taken a hiatus from doing custom machine quilting. Yeah. Probably will do it again someday, but, um, but doesn't do it anymore professionally. But that's okay because um, Barbara... Whose birthday is today? Happy birthday, Happy Barbara. Happy birthday, Barbara. And Brittany, yes. do it. So you can mail your quilts here. Um, Barbara quilts on an Innova. Brittany quilts on an Innova. Mm-hmm. Um, Denise has an Innova. Um, everybody, uh, everybody has an Innova. Um, they really are um, fantastic machines. But and and very near and dear to our it's heart. It's special, yeah. Yeah. Because we've been with the company. I mean, ABM company is like 100 years. I mean, they've been around for a long They invented one of the uncles. I'm going to forget all of the stories, but one of the uncles was the inventor of the vending machine. Mm-hmm. ABM, which stands for, I think, Automated Business Machines. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. They also have those stand-up quilters. So, you know, when you buy those... They make mattresses. Um, they make mattresses. And the bed in a... The bed in a bag quilt that you buy at like Walmart, whatever, they have the machines that quilt the little thingy bobbers. Yeah. They and do. it's a vertical machine. Yeah. The weirdest yeah. thing. Yeah. They have, um, so yeah, it's kind of interesting they what do, they do. Um, Kevlar vests. <clears throat> yeah. They, there's this thing. They can Kevlar stitch thread. through. It's yeah. crazy. I don't know. They have the whole shebang. Yeah. They do it all. It's pretty cool. And it makes sense when, once you know the company, it makes sense that they made it because they can stitch through mattresses. Yeah. They can stitch through thread. They understand and the thread how it does should work. not break. Yeah. You know, that it can stitch vertically and the tension is perfect. So it makes sense that they would then be able to make a long yeah. arm machine that works properly. So anyway, so 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 our whole reason for pointing all of this out is that we are so thrilled that yeah. now Jordan and Brittany are the new Washington, Anova, dealers. Washington dealers. So yeah. if you are in the market for a long arm machine, you need to come and hang out. So um, what they do is um, Jordan still works for the PUD, but Brittany's in here all the time. And yep. Brittany does professional quilting. Um, you can schedule an appointment to come in and quilt your quilt on the machine, which is a really good thing because mm-hmm. then you kind of get a feel for it and you can hear the whole spiel and they're still super affordable. I mean, a long arm machine is, it is expensive, is expensive, but, but there's a whole math and we used to do this math all the time for people it's like well how many quilt tops do you have by the time you pay someone to do them you know a hundred quilts later you could have your own so a lot of it depends on how many you do and if you want to do them for charity and it gets kind of expensive and if it really takes it to a whole nother level, I think. I mean, yeah. in terms of just having fun. And what's really nice is the ability to go rent one to even make sure you like it. Mm-hmm. You might think, oh, I can totally do that. I totally mm-hmm. love it. I'm going to try it. And you might find some people find that it's too stressful. I love, I enjoy this, but I'm so stressed before, during, and after that I just can't. Um, some people find that the um, physical part of it, the standing there, the shoulder muscles you're not used to using, like, oh, it's a little too strenuous for me, but I'll come rent it every time, you know, once a month, two times a month, but I'm not going to do that many, you know, so it's kind of fun. It's just being able to see if you like it before you buy yeah. it, yeah. if you want to buy it, doesn't matter. We've had people who've pinned on back when we were renting <laughs> and it's like, I can't do it. I was like, That's okay, totally just walk bail. away. <laughs> Let me just finish it for you. God bless. I don't want to take it you. off now. Yeah. And the other thing that um, Charisma Horton, some of you guys know her as a designer. She worked for us. Yeah. And she was she a natural. Started mm-hmm. She started with us. And by about her sixth quilt, it's like, oh, she's she's really good. Yeah. And then she became kind of a professional, not kind of, she became she a professional long arm quilter. And then she started designing patterns and writing patterns. And, mm-hmm. you know, so, yeah, Charisma started here. She used to work at the clinic. Yeah. And then worked for us for several years before she went off on her own. Fantastic. A little bird getting released out of the nest. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, all right. Yeah. So, that is our Anova heritage story. And fun. we, um, yeah, we love Anova. 
Um, we're super excited that Jordan and Brittany are doing that and mm -hmm. will. Um, and and that's the other funny thing is that I don't let hardly anybody. Marianne Camus has been on my machine. I've had a couple of I think of Eliza is the one who's been on mine. Maybe Brittany's here. We don't let people touch our girls. No. Well, your boy and my, my boy. girl. Yeah. He's special. Yeah. 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 I don't even think... It's like a member of the family. Yeah. I don't even think uh, that Robert hasn't used it. No! <laughs> Wyatt, I have a really good picture. I'll share another picture of Wyatt when he was a baby. He was sitting on a bar, and I was holding, and I was quilting. Oh. It's super cute. And the quilt is really cute, too. Hmm. He loved it. I'm sure he'll be the first one who tries to you get in there. You kids so sleepy. It yeah, does, yeah quilt, the vibration would lay the underneath, and yeah. you'd hear... Brrr. I mean, it's like being in a car. Yeah. Yeah. So... Yeah, right. it's fun. All right, and Good those of you guys that are coming up for retreat, yeah, um, book your schedule now. You know, um, email or call Brittany and say, "Hey, I'm going to be there on the 22nd. Mm -hmm. Can I bring a quilt and do a quilt?" And because most of every one of our class retreats, you pretty much our class time is from like 10 to lunch. That's our sh instruction time. Everything after that is sewing, prepping, chit-chatting. So anything after lunch, you can totally come and mm -hmm. quilt your thing and you won't miss anything. You'll mm -hmm. just miss impromptu class and sewing time. Yeah. And maybe shopping time, but you'll be here. So, you'll be here. Yeah. 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 It's super great. Um, it's super fun. I'm yeah. excited for them. I too. I'm yeah. really, really excited for them. It just is so funny how things just full circle, full circle, yeah. you know, and, um, and the funny thing is that, um, and for Neil and Walter and everybody to remember Jordan and to know Jordan as a tech and yeah, you know, it is fun. Know. Cause I've went, we've been to markets before and people we don't know who are selling them and we, Oh, do you have one? Oh yeah. I've got a 21. They don't make a 21. Oh, well, they do. Mm -hmm. If you let Neil know that the girl with the 21 came by, he knows who I am. And <laughs> oh, okay. Do you need no one? Nope. I've got, she's perfect. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Nope. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty funny. I get that all the time. He don't make twenty one. Mm. I know. <laughs> right. Yeah. It's special. It's one of those special things. I I will always have a home for him. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Oh, go behind us. Go behind us. So, and we have a trunk show coming up for you at some point. It just needs to be edited. But and yep. I just have to say how much I love you guys because I was gardening and. <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn was here, our friend Carolyn Hutchinson, who used to work here. Yeah. And then she moved to Boise, and um, she came and did a retreat. She was here last year uh, with her 26 girls from Idaho, mm -hmm. and we did a, a trunk show with her stuff last year, and we did one this year of all of her new stuff. Well, anyway, she was packing up, and she was going to spend one more night and yeah. decided, nah, she's just going to go ahead and hit the road because it's only six and a half hours or six hours or whatever. She was just going to go ahead and go and... You know, can we still do the the trunk show? It's like, oh, absolutely. Well, I'm out doing yard work. So I am in, I don't even know what I was wearing, but I know that I believe that my hair might have been brushed and I'm sure that my teeth were brushed, but nothing else had happened. Yeah. I, She's um, fine. No makeup, no anything, but it's like, it's our girls. Everything is girls okay. Gathered. It'll yeah. maybe kind of be okay, but I am not going to watch that because I'll be so <laughs> upset. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. But um, but anyway, Carolyn is so talented. And we said it in front of her, but even not in front of her. I'm just telling you straight up. She is a math whiz. She is mm -hmm. crazy good at math and making sure that, you know, um, there is... there. Is, I'm going to say there's not one single typo in here. No. There's, everything has been gone over so many times. All of the math, all of the equations, mm -hmm. so that no matter what size you're making, she has done all of that in extra math. I don't often do that. It's like, this is how you make the block. If you want to make it bigger, make more blocks. No. If you want to make it smaller, make less blocks. Oh, no, no. Carolyn does all of the math to tell you exactly how much fabric you need. She is, she kind of puts the rest of us to shame with how She's good her really patterns good are. She does a really, really good job. So, um, so we will edit, we by me, meaning Brianna, mm -hmm. will edit that trunk show so you can see all of her new things. But she has left a couple of them with us, and this is one. Mm -hmm. She's left us, left us with this one, and it's called Unhinged. Yes. Um, and this one is so popular that, was it Riley Blake? Michael Miller. Michael Miller is debuting this in one of their collections. Yeah, and so cool. um, quilt shop owners that are looking when we look at fabric, 
and we pick out fabric, they oftentimes say, well, here's some inspiration photos of, you know, what our fabric yep. would look like as a quilt. And so they'll pick, you know, mm -hmm. somebody's pattern. Well, they picked this pattern. They picked like four of her they patterns. Picked, this one in particular. But this one in particular, they used multiple So times. it's possible that if your quilt shop hasn't, ha they might yeah. have them soon. All of a sudden start carrying her patterns. Yeah. But we have all of her patterns on our website. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I'm sure that there's a link somewhere down here. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but also, if you like a PDF, if you would rather have um, a downloadable version, go to her website right. and buy it from her. We, of course, don't sell um, um, downloadables of things that are not ours. They're, right. they're, it doesn't really work that way. Or if you're local, go check her out in Boise, uh, JK's. JK Quilts, yeah. Quilts. Um, That's where she teaches. Yeah, and all she teaches stuff. there, and they carry all of her patterns. Yeah. But Unhinged, it's absolutely beautiful. I don't know what... The, oh, I beautiful. didn't know what this line is. It's she old. bought this from us. It yeah. is old. It's super old. I think it was a cloth works. But beautiful. It really is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. So we have and a couple of heart quilts. So you'll see yeah. them every fabric chat here for a little bit. We'll show one. We'll show a new one. Yeah. So yeah. All right. I don't know how long we talked, probably for a really long time. And they didn't even get to see the baby. We'll bring the baby tonight. Yeah, and you will see two things at 5 o'clock tonight. You will see at 5 o'clock sharp, you will see Mother's Day, and then uh, we will continue on to box opening. So you don't have to be in two places at one time. There you go. All so right. So we're going to do it together. We're going to do it together. Yeah. Perfect. But we're going to do then the Mother's Day thing Thursday night. Correct. And Friday night and Saturday, Saturday night. night. And, and Sunday, Sunday night we'll finish our five days of Mother's Day. And will that be four? Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday, five. five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need more coffee. Yeah. So, yeah, but since we start on a Wednesday, we don't want you to be have two videos to watch right. at the same time. So we're just right, gonna right, right. push them together. Right. So, all right. <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.